When COVID first hit on day one, initially we were all in the same boat. The entire world was not immune. It's a new virus. Everyone felt they were at risk. What became apparent readily and quickly was that we're not all in the same boat. The disproportionate impact of COVID-19 infection and mortality experienced by people of color highlighted longstanding disparities in underlying conditions that we know are linked to severe COVID-19 illness. We've all really had this collective witnessing to how differential and quite frankly limited access to resource and opportunity can negatively affect entire communities. Health equity is when everyone has the ability to achieve their best health possible. Everyone has a fair opportunity to be as healthy as, as possible. And when no one is disadvantaged from achieving this potential because of their socioeconomic position or other socially determined circumstance. Health equity is opportunity. It really is making sure that people don't find doors closed that should be open. In order to get us all living our best life, you have to attend to all the structures and institutions that put people at a disadvantage to start. Equity in Health recognizes that individuals have different healthcare needs in order for them to achieve their best health possible. Equality is providing equal care for everyone. You know, I think a statistic people often find surprising, maybe even staggering, is that if we think about kind of what contributes to your health, you know, it's a small piece of that pie that has to do with health care. You know, somewhere in the order of 20%. Health means more than simply getting the medicine or surgery that you need. That people have access to jobs, a fair income, housing, educational opportunities, living in safe communities. These are larger drivers of health, as it turns out, than healthcare. And so equity really attends to that difference from the very beginning that's baked in to the institutions and structures that exist here in the U.S. And, you know, it's there's no kind of group where it's more evident than people who've been incarcerated. Black and Latino people are disproportionately incarcerated. Poor people are disproportionately incarcerated. Through all different types of cancer, we've found that Black patients, Latinx patients, uh, people from underserved communities, and also the elderly are, are not adequately represented in clinical research studies, are not receiving the care that they need, and they're experiencing worse outcomes. These realities sadly predated the pandemic and COVID-19 took advantage of them and laid them bare. So I think the question for us is now that we all know, what do we do? And how do we make our health system work for those that are most disenfranchised, those most vulnerable to uh, poor health outcomes? And this is the task at hand, I think, during COVID. So it's important to have historically marginalized communities represented to ensure the effectiveness of therapies and interventions. We want to make sure that we are uh, opening up access to the full population. How are we empowering local communities? How are we democratizing the generation of new knowledge? Meaning, are we sharing data that we're gathering? You know, at the Yale Center for Clinical Investigation, we feel very strongly about the relevance and importance of community engagement. We work closely with the cultural ambassadors who for over a decade have really been advocating and advancing representation and inclusion in clinical research. In bringing people that have been incarcerated into our scientific team, because we have a really diverse team, we're asking different questions. Trust has to be rebuilt within these communities. Institutions must acknowledge medical and research abuses that have rightly earned medical mistrust, and systemic racism as a root cause of distrust and receipt of lower quality care. You know, health equity research is our chance to make the invisible visible. And not to stop there, but then to connect the dots between the research findings and policy and practice transformation and change. That is the power of health equity research.